So, good morning, everybody. Today is Candy's 50th birthday and St. Patrick's Day. So, we thought we would bring you along on our journey today. We are going to go to Prison Hill Brewery for a wonderful brunch, and then we're going to go on a scavenger hunt. I'm excited. This should be fun. I am at Prison Hill Brewery with Susan and I am about to try their flight. Uh, somebody well known for this might be by the name of Eric and uh, I got some pretty good flavors. Let me show you. I have a blonde. I have a lazy hazy. Framboy or whatever. Looks like Boise, Idaho. And a Barkley peanut butter. I'm gonna try that one last because that could be scary. Okay, so I'm drinking the blonde first and it's actually quite good. We're gonna save the others until I finish this one and then rinse my mouth with a cup of water. All right, everybody. So the blonde was delicious. Now we're gonna try the Lazy Hazy. Ooh, I like that. It's uh, sweet and light. Okay, everybody, it is time for Framboy Raspberry Lambrick. Let's see. Oh, that's really raspberry. It's like raspberry Kool-Aid seltzer. Not bad. Okay, so I finished my blackened salmon, which was, oh my gosh, and had some of Susan's bacon, which was, oh my gosh, and now we're going to go in for dessert. Barkley peanut butter. It smells like peanut butter, and I'm glad I saved it till last because it's, it's not really great, but it tastes like peanut butter. So Candy and I are here at the Yuma City Hall to begin our scavenger hunt. We just picked out on all that wonderful food and now we're going to go and burn it off doing this scavenger hunt that I believe is from scavengerhunt.com. Correct. You can actually sign up for it and whatever location you're in you can do a scavenger hunt for your area. We're excited. Let's do this. Went to the wrong courthouse at first and now we're at the right courthouse. <laughs> we found some shade and we're going to take a break. But look at this building. It is so beautiful. This is a great way to get to know the town you're in or visiting uh, by going on and doing this scavenger hunt. This is fun. I'm learning things after two years of being here that I didn't see before or know about. But then yeah. again, this is a good thing that I'm not in a courthouse usually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's not make it a habit. So a little rest, some water, catch our breath, and we're gonna be on and at it again. Yep, next challenge the coming Masonic up. Temple. The notoriously secretive Masonic Brethren built their clubhouse here in 1931. It's one of Yuma's few Art Deco buildings popular in that era. But the timing was otherwise poor what with the oncoming depression. The poor Masons lost the building for a few years, but by the 1940s, it was back in their hands again. So we're just gonna cross the street and get to the Masonic Temple. Yeah, because it just happens to be right across the street. The Masons called this Yuma Lodge number what? 17, right? Yeah. Yep, Lodge 17. Submit. With the lodge on your left shoulder, walk along 2nd Street and make a right on Madison Avenue where you'll find a museum and gardens. The museum and gardens is housed inside a historic home belonging to a prominent resident. Using the letters of this last name, you can see the Our next 
clue brought us here to the Arizona Historical Society Museum, Sanguinetti House, Museum and Gardens. So Sanguetti is his name. So using the letters of his last name, you can spell what word? You can't spell And there's no W. So our choices were minute, talent, sweating, or setting. There's no M, there's no L, and there's no W. So setting. So it's now given us to look for, what are we looking for? A um, post office. A post office, but it's a historical one, right? Yeah, it's Yuma, um, it's a crown jewel of Yuma architecture. And it's the grabber of the morning sun. Oh. Anyway, so we're back on downtown street in Yuma. Look at all the flags up ahead. This is next to the Hotel San Carlos uh, from 1930. The building is an example of modern art deco style. It served as headquarters for Hollywood stars throughout the 1930s and 40s and was the center of Yuma's social life until 1960s. It was dedicated to December. by the city of Yuma for the preservation of our heritage. This year, to the, where are we? Um, Hilton Garden in Pivot Point Plaza. Which is actually really cool. Besides having this Southern Pacific train, it's also got overlooks to the Colorado River and our Gateway Park, plus information about the local Ketchikan, Ketchikan tribe. Really, I highly recommend coming and checking this space out. The pound train was in service for 50 years and is now part of a pivot point plaza just south of Gateway Park and the lovely Colorado River. You have now finished 100% of it. Okay, so Candy and I just finished our scavenger hunt and had a fantastic lunch for her birthday. We are done. Now it's time to crawl back to our vehicle, go home, and play some cards and have some German chocolate cake. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be delicious. Anyway, thanks for joining us today. We really appreciate y'all coming along. And I hope this inspires you to get out and try a scavenger hunt in your location. It definitely is something I'm going to want to do in new cities we go and visit. Yeah. Look it's up really Let's cool. Roam. Awesome people, thank you so much. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Candy. Happy birthday to you and many more.